I could stay like this Forever following you Just don't get too far And I'll be right where you are Bye family! I'll miss you! I'm going for my jog Look how beautiful this weather is In the middle of South France That's what life is like looking at our Turkey custom for security Put our vans out chatting with you again. This jumper is so huge. <laughs> I got a fringe. Do you like it? Sitting all alone Mouth full of gum In the driveway I'm a few days late but I want to I wanted to do a video to say goodbye to 2017. So with this YouTube channel I really wanted to be Ooh, hello. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with my YouTube channel, I really want to talk about positivity, about self-love, about connecting to yourself, about having confidence, about finding yourself. I think this is something that is really, really important to me. I really want to talk about the things that I experienced and the things that I learned in 2017 because that year for me was the year of self-love and self-exploration and self-confidence. So I want to share what I did in 2017 to find that and maybe inspire you to do something similar. 
so pretty much I've got my notes, I've got a little page of notes, a lot of things I wanted to talk about in this video. So pretty much in the start of 2017, I said to myself, um, I want this year to be for me. In order to achieve that, I knew that I had to make a big change to the way that I was living and what I was doing. In Australia, where I'm from, um, I was constantly surrounded by amazing people, which I'm so grateful for. I have such beautiful friends, my family that constantly make me happy and support me. I was in an amazing relationship with someone who loved me and supported me and made me feel so, so good. Um, and I was very happy. I was on a consistent you know, on a consistent level, being back home in Australia, I would say I was, I'm was a happier, generally, person being surrounded by all the people that I love all the time than I was living by myself in another country, of course. However, I was constantly getting happiness through other people and I wasn't finding happiness for myself. I was just kind of going through life, having fun with my friends, things like that, which was really, really good, but I didn't... I have a clear direction and I just was just going through life rather than being like, okay, this is what I want and this is what I want to go out and get. So I said to myself, in all of this, I need to leave all of this behind so I am alone and I can figure out what it is that makes me happy by myself. What makes me happy? Not other people and not relationships. What makes me happy? What do I enjoy to do? What all the, Where do I want to go? What do I want to spend my time doing? So I left everything behind. Left. I bought a one-way ticket to France and I went on a two-month road trip um, with 12 people. Basically, no one spoke English. They spoke French the whole time. So I learned French really quickly, which was cool. Um, it was a really isolating time, but a really amazing time to learn about myself, to learn about traveling, to, to see new people, new cultures. So I did that for two months, which completely took me out of my reality, completely took me out of everything that I know. I was off social media. There was, I was in Iran. There was no Facebook, no Instagram, just brought me back down to earth, back down to reality. <clears throat> which made me appreciate so much. Um, then I decided to move to Paris when I got back. Um, I moved to Paris alone. I didn't know anyone in this city. Um, and it was really just a time for me. I wasn't distracted by any relationships or any friendships or any commitments. I could do what I want when I wanted. No one relied on me for anything for the first half of this trip until I started getting a job and making friends and whatnot. But when I first arrived, no one knew who I was. I could do and say and act and wear and I could do what I want. I could be whoever I wanted to be. And that was a really important thing in finding myself because I was like, without the pressure and the expectations of my friends for me to dress the same way or for me to say the things that I would always say, like... I could do whatever I want without people questioning me like, oh, but you've changed or, oh, but you used to like this, but now you like this. And, you know, um, you, I just didn't have any of that. I could just do whatever I wanted to do. And that was, that was, first of all, a really amazing thing being like, okay, so what, who do you want to be? How do you want to express yourself as a person? In saying that, I was really, really alone and lonely and there would be times where I wanted my friends to come out with me or I wanted to go out with a group of people and all these sort of things and I didn't have that. Um, but the best thing about this is learning how to make yourself happy, which was the point of this all in the beginning. So when I was alone and I was sad and all of Australia was asleep, I had to figure out how to make myself happy. I couldn't just stay alone in my hotel room, in my apartment in Paris and just be sad. I had to be like, okay girl, why are you sad? And how are you gonna make, how are you gonna get yourself out of the situation? Like sometimes we have so many people surrounding us that when we're sad, we can just call them and they can make us laugh and they can make us feel better. And the problem was never really resolved. It was just masked over and forgotten about and maybe it will reoccur again in the future. But when you're alone, you kind of delve into your problems until they're not problems anymore. So when I was lonely, I would realize why I was lonely. I would journal, I would write about it, I would think about it. And then I'd realize, okay, I don't want to feel that way anymore. So I'm going to do this to counteract that feeling. And when I was happy, I realized why I was happy and I was connecting with that. And then I was going out and doing that again and again to ensure my happiness. When I was scared or when I felt isolated, I figured out ways to, you know, to relieve that that fear that I was having and to change negative thoughts into positive thoughts 
to ensure that, you know, I wasn't going to go down a bad path. And I set myself goals and I was really self-motivated and there was nothing else to do but achieve those goals. Goals. Everything that I set out to do in my last year, I was able to go out and achieve them because what else was I going to do? I would, I would say, okay, for example, I wanted to stop working in hospitality within the year because although I love hospitality and I love, I always meet great people, it's super fun, it's chilled and relaxed. And I said, it's not going to benefit my future. I don't want to work in hospitality forever. I'm 22 years old. I need to get over that and I need to do something that I want to do permanently. So I said, okay, stop working in hospitality. That's one of the goals. And when that point came, I wasn't financially ready to stop working in hospitality, but I knew if I didn't take that leap, then I would just be stuck in the cycle forever. So I I stopped my job in the cafe that I was working full time at and I had a few months where I wasn't getting very much money. I nearly had to leave Paris so many times. Um, I couldn't do what I want. I was very, very stressed about things because I took that, that risk. But I said, that's what I want to do. And I did that in the end, I pushed myself to find new jobs and to get an income in other ways that is really cool now and now I work freelance now I work from home and now I do this and now I do that and I'm doing so many things that I want to do when I said I want to start a blog I want to start my YouTube videos I want to do photography and I want to do this and I want to do that who was there to stop me no one was there to stop me there was no distractions I achieved every goal that I wanted to do because all I had was that to do and I think taking yourself out of your situation and saying, okay, this is really what I want to do and not having anything distract you from that is probably the best way for you to connect with yourself and realize what path you want to be on. And I think taking the risk of being isolated and feeling a little bit lonely and a little bit scared and missing everyone back home is a short term loss for a long term gain. I think there were ups and downs of this year some downs some some really low moments that you know was really hard to deal with alone but looking back at 2017 they just disperse amongst the goodness and the positive things that came out of going through all of that alone and doing everything and fighting for your fighting for yourself and having your own back and trusting your gut and trusting your instincts and trusting your ability to do what needs to be done trusting your ability in so many different aspects by living alone and living in a new country next page <laughs> And it was really hard. I felt judged by a lot of people from home. I wasn't studying. I wasn't, you know, working for like some company or, you know, doing something. They just thought that I was just going out and just whatever, just living in Paris for the sake of it. And I was, and that was the way that I found what I really wanted to do because I didn't have a commitment to study or to work or to anything. I just had me and I just wanted to go out and I just had fun and I just was like, yeah, this is cool. I want to make the, I want to surround myself with these types of people. I want to spend my time doing this. This is how I want to make money. This is not how I want to make money. And yes, just spending a year in Paris doing what I want when I wanted as much as that was judged from people as like, oh, like you're just wasting your time in Paris. Like you could be making a future for yourself or whatever. Like for me, the most important thing is finding yourself before finding a career or before finding a boyfriend. Now I can have the time to bring everything else back into my life now that I know me and who I am. But I will still have that moment and that ability to be like, I've lost connection with myself because I know how it feels to be connected to myself. So I can say, you know, okay, it's been a few weeks. I haven't journaled or I'm feeling a little bit lost in my path right now. Like how, what, what steps can I take to reconnect with myself? So even if I get back in a relationship, even if I go back home to Australia, even if I do all these things and I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to live by myself for the rest of my life to, you know, find myself forever. I can still trust in my ability know when I need to be alone, know when I need to be surrounded with people because of what I learned. Um, so like basically how I see, how I see this is like, 
2017 for me was like the first chapter of my book. In a book, you kind of need to establish a character. You need the audience to understand who she is, who that character is, her motivations and her drive, a little bit about her past and, you know, how that's going to affect her future. That's... <coughs> pardon. That's what I felt that I did in the last 12 months. I said, okay, this is me. This is who I am. This is what I love. This is what I want to do. There's that chapter... That chapter, obviously, that character is going to be underlying for the whole rest of the story. But I can close that chapter and be like, okay, you did that. You established that person. You connected with that person. Like, that's written. That's cool. Now you can go back. You can continue doing this story, reading this book, acting this out, doing your life with having a base having that base of a strong character that you have confidence in, that you love, that you know and that you can identify with. And having that, what now that you have that base, you can continue the story. And I feel like if I hadn't have done that year and if I hadn't have pushed myself out of my comfort zone and away from everything that I have known to do this, I feel like it. I wouldn't be a strong enough base to continue with. Um... I don't believe that everyone has to go and live by themselves in another country and speak a new language to find this. There are so many different ways for you to do what's right for you and to how, to how to find yourself and to feel confident in yourself. This is what I needed to do and this was probably the only way that I could achieve what I have achieved in the last year by doing that. But I'm not saying that, you know, you're not going to ever like feel confident in yourself if you don't live by yourself for 12 months. That's not what I'm saying. I just want to talk about what I did, how it benefited me. And if it is something you're thinking about doing, go and do it. If you're scared about living in another country or speaking a new language or missing your family, I understand that maybe that's not for you, but think about being an individual for a certain amount of time. Think about getting out of your, your home, just in the, even if it's not physically, just in the way that you, you think and how you've always been surrounded by the same morals, the same upbringing, maybe the way your school taught you how to act or be or what's right and wrong in life. Um, maybe these are all really positive things, but maybe you need to take the time to figure out how you want to see things yourself, what you really want to do. Maybe you don't want to do that degree. Maybe you don't want to follow that course. Maybe you don't love that person. Maybe you don't want to live in this city. Maybe you're not surrounded by the right friends. How do you know that unless you get out of that situation and you look at it from an outside perspective and experience new things? I think, like I said, it's not about, you know, completely dis like isolating yourself from everyone but just push yourself to experience new things and to meet new people and to open your mind to different opportunities um and to different experiences um I think that's something that's really important as well and if you're on if you're on a journey right now or if you're on a path where you feel like you're disconnected from yourself and you feel like maybe you're not on the right you're not in the going in the right direction you're not quite confident in the decisions that you're making shake up your world a little bit go and do something you never thought you would do I found myself with 12 people I had never met before I got taken so far out of my reality that like I could see my reality so much better in the future if you're not doing the right thing do something different every if you have something in the back of your mind like this is really what I think I want to be doing or this is where I, I want to be going go and do that you only get one shot at this go and give it go and have confidence in yourself and believe in yourself to go out and follow that and to chase that. Like, at the end of the day, 2017 for me was the happiest I've ever been, the saddest I've ever been, the most rewarding, the most challenging. Like, I mean, I would not change a single thing about the year. I would not change the way I did any of it because I learned from all the mistakes that I made. No matter what, at the end of the day, it's just you. So you know, take that and love that and be your own best friend and have your back and love yourself and have confidence and treat yourself right and do what makes you happy because all you have is you. At the end of the day, we are all we have. So you have to love who that is. And so I'm saying goodbye to 2017. What a year. Thank you, 2017, for being such a good year. And 
bring on 2018 where I take all the lessons that I learned from the past and use them to good and put them to good use for the future. That's for sure. Woo! That was my little ramble about 2017. I hope you got something out of it. Um, I hope you learned a little bit. If I don't want to ramble anymore, but I just basically want to say I think what I learned in 2017 was really important to get out there and to listen to myself as an individual and to try new things. And I highly suggest it, basically. I just want to share that experience with you guys just so maybe you can be like, mm, maybe that's something that I want to do. Maybe I want to listen to myself more. Maybe I want to be more adventurous. Maybe I want to figure out a different path for myself. And um, I, I had a really positive experience in doing that last year. and. I wanted to share that with you guys just so you know that it's possible and it's really and like this is what I did and it was good and it was bad and it was everything else in between and outside and inside and all this sort of stuff but it was in the end a really really positive experience so if you're thinking about going out and doing something new and changing your life and shaking it up go out and do it now because it will be worth it trust me Thank you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. The sun is like completely set. So like, I think the light has completely shut up this whole video, but that's okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you took something out of this video. Um, if you have any questions or you want to talk about experiences or like what you're doing, or if you think you're like, you know, anything, if you have any questions, just message me, comment below, anything like that. Um, I'm really happy to talk about this sort of stuff. I love talking about this sort of stuff. Um, self-love, confidence, happiness, believing in yourself, achieving your goals, all this sort of thing is really what is most important to me. And I really want to talk about it and just talk about my experiences and lessons that I'm learning, how I'm going on my journey of self-love and self-discovery. And that's the journey that I'm on right now. And I really want to share that with you all. Thank you so much for sticking around. It means a lot to me. Um, I hope you had an amazing Christmas and a very, very happy new year. And um, I will see you very, very, very soon. I have lots of videos planned coming up this month so um i will see you very soon thank you and goodbye I'm now